G'day guys and welcome back to ADOS the Great YouTube channel. So guys, in today's video, I will be giving you my expected uh, or sorry, predicted Rabbitohs lineup for round 11. This one is to take on the West's Tigers. So very excited for this. Now, as you can see, no changes. No changes to the team that beat the, uh, the Storm. So great win there at Magic Round. Shout out to Magic Round. What a weekend. What an experience. Um, I've done it the last two years now and um, can't wait to do it again next year. So let's talk about this. So my Round 11 predicted lineup. Uh, as you can see, literally no changes. I don't think we will make a change this week. Uh, I'll, I'll tell you what the lineup is, 1 through to 22. But, uh, yeah, we'll move from there then. So Latrell Mitchell, fullback, obviously. Alex Johnson and Tane Mill, wingers. Uh, Isaiah Tass and Campbell Graham in the centres. Cody Walker, Lockie Ilias in the halves with Tavita Tatola and Harme Sally in the front row and Damian Cook at dummy half. In the second row, Michael Cheekham, Jacob Host and... Cameron Murray at lock and the captain, Jed Cartwright, Tom Burgess, uh, Liam Knight and Jai Arrow make up the bench with the reserves, Blake Taff, Peter Mumbozelez, who scored a double on the weekend. Both of them did, I think. Uh, Blake Taff and Peter were outstanding for a reserve grade. Um, Isaac Thompson, Daniel Saluka for feeder and Talis Duncan. Now, I don't see any changes being made this week. I am hearing that um, I, I did reach out to Shaq Mitchell on Instagram and he is due back soon. So stay tuned for that. I also believe Saliva Havili will be back in the next few weeks as well. So exciting stuff. We are likely to get some of the boys back come Indigenous round. There's bloody flies because we're doing the cleanup of the house and the rats. It's annoying. So if you see flies fly past, I apologize. But uh, yeah, so... Look, I think um, I don't think we'll see many many changes whatsoever. I'm just looking at the team here, like maybe Dan, uh, Daniel Saluka for feeder in for Liam Knight. Although I thought Liam Knight was very good in his return. Um, the only other option could be Isaac Thompson comes in over Tane Milne, but I don't see that happening either. Uh, some small changes might be Joy Arrow starts over Hame Sele or Tom Burgess starts, but I don't see that either because both those players give us massive impact off the bench. Uh, yeah, look, I'm very confident we'll name the team as what as we did last week. I don't see any changes. But let me know, guys, do you think there'll be any changes to the lineup this week for the match against the West Tigers? Um, I'm pretty confident we go in 1 through to 17 as we did this week. But yeah, let me know in the comments, guys, if you think we will make any changes. Thank you all so much for watching this one. Very short one in this week's um, episode. So uh, yeah, thank you all so much for tuning in. And as always, my friends, I'll see you in the next one. Thanks, guys.